Hey guys! So, lately people have been saying some stuff about my hair because it's been a good couple months or so since I colored it. My roots are starting to show. But I'm going to just color my hair. And we're going to use the Joyco Color Intensity in pink and the Pravana Chroma Silk in orange. And probably going to come out a little funky because I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just going to grab chunks of hair and color them and we're going to see what it looks like. But this like whole little thing is kind of nostalgic for me because for those of you that don't know, I originally started a YouTube channel in like 2009 or something and this was like the kind of content that was out there. Just going to look for some blonde hair, whatever's left of it, but <gasps> I knew I should have, oh, thank God I protected the floor. Okay, good, 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 good. So I'm just going to look for whatever blonde is left. Oh, it's dripping all out. Okay. We're just going to double hand this, so we'll see what happens. Where's my blonde at? See, this is how you know you need to redo your roots. It's not even visible. Just gonna grab chunks like I said and we're just gonna see what happens to my poor hair uh, huh, I'm like completely doing my hair out of frame it's cool it's cool you'll see the end result I'm gonna get color everywhere but let's just go the biggest tip to hair coloring is saturation make sure every strand is soaked I love when you just get your hair colored, and then people are like, oh my god, like, it looks so good. I like this so much better than the last color. And you're like, thanks, so you didn't even really like the last color. But you told me my hair looked cute, so I thought you liked it. But I mean, you're a little shady. Comment down below, will this be a good color or a bad color? Because I don't even really know. I'm also forgetting, like, the biggest thing placement I that's pink I think that was orange I don't know what color that was so I'll go in with an orange in the back because I think there should be a pink in the front none of the back is colored so I'm just gonna work that all in this is so cute you know, this is how I used to color my hair, just grabbing like, oh, I want to do pink and I want to do blue. So I'm just going to grab a fistful of pink and a fistful of blue and just, and then I went to school with rainbow hair. I don't know how. It was just rainbow hair. And I was like, oh my God, he looks like a clown. And I'm like, thanks. I look like your mother. Was that too aggressive? It's okay. I have a bad habit of like grabbing the same color multiple times. I just grab pink again. Uh, we'll do pink right here. You feel like a pink lock. Cute, and then I'm gonna just have extra. I'll just put it in the back. The back will be like a cute little tie-dye moment. By the way, these are professional products. Don't buy them on Amazon. Don't buy them online. Buy them from like get your hair done professionally or use a brand from like Sally's or something because Arctic Fox I know is really popular you could buy it at Hot Topic buy it at Sally's but don't buy professional stuff online because it's often fake and why would, why would you want to waste your money on a fake you know it's like it could be real but chances are you're just getting a fake in good packaging, which a lot of people don't know. And it gets to be dangerous. It's the same thing like makeup, cut hair stuff, makeup stuff, like skincare, everything. It's the same. Just because you buy it like these, I'm not sure how much retail online, but I'm sure if they're charging you like $30 for a bottle, you're paying too much, which happens a lot. Man, yeah, just be mindful of your purchases. 
I also have like really thin hair, so I can get away with using like a fourth of an ounce and it'll cover my entire head. Like, yeah, I don't got that much hair, but at least I'm saving some money. I'd rather have more hair, but. I think it's all covered, but I'm not sure. So I'm just going to run my fingers through it and pull out what's left of my hair. I don't have another mirror, so I don't know if it's all colored or not, but it doesn't feel saturated. So I'm just gonna do a lot. But it's cute. <laughs> My eyes went like cross-eyed real quick. Now that it's all in and I'm not really too concerned with the final result because I know it's going to be beautiful. I mean, I'm just that talented. It's going to be beautiful. I took like a square of pink and a square of orange and I'm just going to mix it. Just to keep the colors. Because I mean, I already put the color down in the hair. It absorbed it all. I could feel it. It feels like it soaked through. So the colors, the initial colors are going to be there. Now I'm just gonna do this to help blend them and watch it's all gonna be like pinky orange. You're not even gonna see all that hard work I put into it. I used to have a mohawk. It was hard to get in the car because the seats on the car were really high and my mohawk was really high. Actually, I think I used to go to school like this. Just about. It was a look. It wasn't a good look, but it was my look. I feel like everyone should have a mohawk at least once in their life. Whether or not it looks good or not. Oh my god, orange. Just for fun. I mean, why not? You don't want a mohawk? Everyone should grow out their hair at least a bit and shave their head. I already shaved my head. And I'm not doing it again. It's not a good look for me. But I tried it. I mean, not gonna lie. I was frustrated with my hair and I'm like, it's all dead, it's whatever. I'm just gonna shave it all off. So I did, and I'm like, oh my god, I look absolutely ridiculous. So I let it grow out and then I never shaved it again. <coughs> I'm gonna leave your cough in just so you know. <laughs> You're just gonna hear someone in the background going, <coughs> Oh my god, I did what I didn't want to do. I got hair color in my psoriasis. Well, that's never coming out. So I'm going to have orange spots right there for the next probably week. No, I'll try to scrub it out. We'll see. I'm just going to go and people are going to be like, oh, you just did your hair. And be like, yeah, and I didn't put Vaseline on my scalp. I used to use hair color as tattoo and I'll get like my notebook or something and I'll squirt hair color on it and then I would start like writing let it sit let it dry and then I'll just gently wipe it off and I'll have like the worst tattoos but it's an idea only semi-permanent do not use anything you mix these are semi-permanent hair colors basically if you don't know what semi-permanent is usually it's anything you squeeze straight out of the bottle and you apply directly to your hair if you have to mix like developer or that white liquid, if you have to mix it, then don't give yourself tattoos with that. This is basically colored conditioner. And I like both of these because I believe both of these have proteins in it. So if you're a very blonde, especially like I like to go, you not only get your hair colored, but you also restore a little bit of protein in there while it sits. And now I'm going to let this sit for about 25 minutes, wash it out, and then we'll see what happens. I'm back. Okay, so this is what my hair looked like. I did get a little bit of hair color, caught my skin, but it's okay. It did blend together a lot more than I was expecting to, but hopefully you can see 
the slight difference between like the orange and the pinkiness. So what do you think? How does it look? I know I did kind of like just kind of throw it together a little bit, but I think it looks good. I mean, I feel like I'm one yellow streak away from being a Haley Williams impersonator, but now you guys know how if you wanted to do this kind of color. Now you know the products I use, but don't buy fake ones because you're worth more than that. And those products are probably just, I mean, chances are they're probably dangerous for you anyways. So get the real one or go to a professional or at least consult a professional. But <laughs> not like I'm much of one sometimes, but yeah, you could go, you could do Arctic Fox. I know they have Arctic Fox at Sally's. You do Manic Panic, it's one of my old favorites. But yeah, so now my hair's did. My skin is orange and so is the sink and everything else in the bathroom and soon to be my pillows too. So I hope you guys like this. Maybe I'll do my hair on camera again soon. Maybe I'll cut it. Maybe I'll shave it all off. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys later.